Hello and welcome back. This is Ashwal Rafi once again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create subdomains for any domain listed on Hostinger. And then I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress to your newly created subdomain. So without further ado, first of all, sign into your Hostinger account and then click on Hosting so that you'll be able to see all the domains here listed. Now it's time to select the domain which you want to use or actually create a subdomain for. So I'm going to select this one. So let's click on manage. And after that, you have to go a little bit down until you find this domain section and you are going to see here subdomain. So let's click on it. And it is going to show you an option for creating a subdomain for this specific domain. So let's say I want to add a subdomain for uh, with a name like p1 which i want to use for a portfolio website and now it's time to click on create and here we go subdomain created successfully and if you just go a little bit down you are going to see this subdomain installed or actually created here now let's say you want to install wordpress to your newly created subdomain so let me show you how you can do that simply go to this website section and then go to auto installer and after that you are going to find this wordpress section here now let's click on select and then you can select your subdomain from here as you can see p one ajharrafi.com and now it's time to give a administrator name so i'm going to put like mdrafi uh, p1 and let's put a password for this site and then you have to give a website title so i'm going to put portfolio and here create a new database so let's select this one and then if you just have to click on this install button or actually you can select this one always update to latest available version so your website will be uh, updated automatically so now let's click on install It is going to take few seconds to get your WordPress installed. So let's just wait. And here we go. We have got our new website created. So I'm going to save this password. And now if we click on WordPress. And if you click on edit website. It is going to redirect you to this uh, website dashboard as you can see here wordpress dashboard and as you can see here is the domain now it's time to customize and make your website as you want so i believe i was able to help you throughout this video if you have found this video helpful please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and let me know your opinion by commenting below and if you are interested to learn how to set up a complete wordpress website step by step please don't miss my next video which i am going to upload by tomorrow and Again, if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this one.